When sewing in quilting, you're using a quarter inch seam. And on my modern machines, you can have a quarter inch foot that you can follow. But even with that foot, I found I wasn't being completely consistent as I went from piece to piece. And so I've come up with a system where I use Dr. Scholl's mole foam padding, let me get it in the picture here, which you'll find in the foot care department, and it comes on these sheets. It's nice and thick, as you can see. It's not your mole foam, or it's not your mole pad, mole skin. This is mole foam padding. And I take a ruler and I cut off about a quarter inch wide piece, the width of the block. And now I have three or four different versions of this, but this is a seam guide, a seam allowance guide. And if you'll notice, there's a hole in the middle here at a quarter inch. And what I do is I'm going to slide that under my uh, foot, and I'm going to just drop the needle down in the hole, and then I'm going to drop the presser foot down. And if you'll notice, I have it kind of snugged without pulling the needle. I have it snugged up next to the needle. And I found on this machine, which is a Singer 221 uh, Featherweight, which is my favorite piecing machine, if I line that mole foam up right along the edge of that ruler and stick it down nice and snug right next to that ruler, then, when I pull that away, I have a, a dimensional seam guide that I can use to make sure I sew things together at the proper quarter inch. Now, if I take two, two and a half inch pieces of fabric that have been cut and trimmed, they're ready to sew together, they're the same width, if I line that up right under my foot and sew the length of it, leaving it snugged right up next to that mold foam, then when I'm done, if I were to measure this, press this out and measure it, it should be four and a half inches because you've used two quarters, which is a half inch, one for each seam, a seam on either piece. Then when you measure this across, it should be four and a half. So that's how you can test if your seam allowance is correct. If it's too far off, you'll know uh, because it will be more than four and a half. It might be four and three eighths, or it might be four and three quarters. Or if it's too far away, your seam might be too big and you might be coming in at four and three eighths or four and a quarter instead of four and a half. You want to make sure you've got that half inch left plus the width of your finished block in order to have all of the pieces come together and fit properly.